okay so today we will be discussing login login page implementation so login page is nothing but this is the ui this can be anything just difference is with the routing file okay okay so up till now we have seen what much i have just created two new components first is this login component and second one is home component okay so first login component is a simple component having simple form with one input text box and one second for the password and one button okay same you are seeing it. and this is just the ui i have copy pasted from some website okay after that in component.ts we have created one class which is having username and password property uh, on login button that will be the function which get call on the login button here is uh, no api call is integrated but same this piece of code will be re replaced by your api call integration so for now just to save our time i'm just simply checking text box value is equal to admin and text box value to password is equal to password so then we are navigating that to ng for route okay after successful we are navigating to url Second home component. Uh, so before home component, up to yesterday, app dot component dot html. This was our parent component for our whole Angular application. Okay. Since on if I am not login, I have to show this page, right? So for this app dot component uh, dot html, this will be the parent page unless we are logged in. Okay. If, it means if we are logged in, if we are not logged in, app.component.html will be our parent component for our Angular application. Okay. Once we are logged in, this won't be our parent parent component. Then home component will be our parent component. So in app component, we just have router outlet. Okay. And whatever the uh, navbar and all menus things, we have shifted that code to home component. So you can see here. This is the same HTML which we have with the app component.html. I have just replaced that to home component.html. And again, we have router outlet. So with this div, we will have be we will have our route uh, component rendering with this container. Okay. This is the first change in app.component.html. We will have only router outlet. No navbar will be there because one if user is not logged in then we have to show login page okay after that second we have just created another one component which will be just act as a parent component okay so this is our parent component after login it will have our navigations plus router outlet where child component will be rendered okay so now routing this was our old routes it was having nothing but array of object which is having path and component okay it was simple it was a simple routes one by one one by one object were there so little bit difference is there i have created one route which is having which is having path empty it means empty so if this is empty because we don't have any route here so this is empty condition so if route is empty, we are redirecting it to login. Login is our separate route. On login, we are just rendering login component. Okay. So this is just changes redirect to HTML and the empty part. Okay. So this is the normal route. Okay. After that, I have said like uh, once we are logged in, home component will be our parent component. So same path, same. We have created another route which is having path as empty. Then for this route, our home parent component, home component will be home component. Okay. So this home component will have children. 
I mean, after login, whatever the routes will be there now, so you have to add in the home component in children section. So same, all the routes we have provided it in a children or home component. This is the only difference. So this is the only difference. Previously, we only have this kind of routes. Now we have two extra routes. One is for empty and second is new for the login. Okay. If we are successfully login, then we are redirecting to any URL. But for any any of this URL, like ng for ng parent component will be home component. Okay. So this is just uh, background logic for lo login page implementation. This is the logic that we have to consider home component as a parent component and all the components which needs to be integrated in home component need to be registered here okay home component is nothing but a layout kind of structure where we will be having login uh, navigation and everything and along with that navigation we will have router outlet to render our current route Okay. Now you can see route is empty. Okay. So still we are seeing login page because in app.routingmodel.ts we have provided that if path is empty, they direct to login. Okay. So we have username and admin and password is the admin. So it will go to the if condition. So now check router. Please. Now check. We have three major routes. One is path is having path is empty, second login, and third is again empty with home component. So same thing we can see here. In config section, we have three array. Okay. This is our last uh, after login. Again, it is had it has nine routes. Same thing which we have declared in app routing model dot okay. So this dot router dot navigator URL. So this is like uh, in JavaScript, we have uh, window.href, then page URL. So it will navigate to that particular page. So in uh, Angular, we have router. So with that router, navigate URL is a function by which you have to provide route to that navigate URL function, then router will navigate to that particular route. So here we are sending ng for route name. Continue. So you can see ng for route is also there in the ng for router. We have to add append slash here because we have provided child children routes. So this is pretty much code. Cool. I will repeat it once again what changes we have to do. First is login component. Obviously, you have to create that. One more additional thing you have to do is create one another component. Name can be anything, home, wrapper, anything. We will need this component to hold our navigations and a router outlet to render our child, uh, whatever the activity route is. Okay. And in app.component.html, we will have just only router outlet to load login page. Okay. After 
know that in the map routing model what we do we just have to change we have to create two main routes one is for empty and if it is empty then redirect to login the login is another route which is having component login component third route is having path empty component home component and in that children we will have list of actual routes it will be same okay previously we have only same whatever the children's we have opened there we used to have it as a main route but now these all routes will come under as a children to home component because after login app component won't be our parent component home component will be our parent component okay so that's that's the changes login page is simple it takes box with ng model bind on click button and here we have just hard coded values if we have api we can change replace this code with api let me know if anyone has any doubt Okay then. Let me know. You can ping me. Otherwise, this is all I have to inform you about logging. Tomorrow we can see auth guard to restrict route from loading if user is not logged in. Because currently, if I am not logged in and still I am providing a route, I can able to load that particular route because we have we haven't. restricted particular route from loading no authentication is there to check that user is authenticated or not so we will see that 